So, I tried something new. Stay to the end for the full confession about how it turned out, in my opinion. Welcome to Cooking Couture Atlanta. This is Ardra Sinet. Welcome to my channel. I'm about to make a meatloaf. And honestly, I think every time I do a meatloaf, I do it different. Yeah, I got some meat I needed to make this meatloaf like two days ago. So now I want to make sure that I uh, don't have to throw this away. So I got to hurry up and get this ground beef in the oven. Yeah, get it cooked. That's for my trash. I always like to have me a trash bag out handy. This is how I cook. This is a pound, actually a little over a pound, it's almost a pound and a half of ground chuck from Publix. I try to get the leanest meat, not the leanest, but close to it. I mean, the fat is good for flavor and for binding, but for real, I don't be wanting a lot of fat. I don't be wanting a lot of fat. Okay, so then I'm also adding that was the ground chuck. I'm adding some mild uh, Italian turkey. It's fresh sausage. It's turkey sausage. It's Italian turkey sausage. I'm mixing that. I had to make sure it's been in the refrigerator, but so I'm mixing the ground mild Italian turkey sausage in with my um ground ground chuck. Then I'm gonna add this rotel. I had used a little bit of it. Oh, I made this. I made a sauce the other day. Okay, so that's so. I saved this because it was infused butter. And I don't want the butter to go to waste. It was infused butter. I didn't want it to go to waste. So, I'm mixing that in. I put an egg in mine for binary reasons. Help bind it together. My grandma and mama been doing it forever. Putting the egg in the meatloaf. With two pounds of meatloaf, I mean of meat, because I, I really didn't think about it. Because um, I'm adding the, the Italian sausage. It's a... Uh, two pounds of meat, so I really need two eggs. I really need two eggs. I don't feel like eating another egg. I should have did that last, because I don't like when my um, seasoning get all uh, yucky, but uh, this is some garlic. Everybody knows me like, knows I like garlic. I put garlic in everything. All right, so I don't really think it matters what I put in next. I never tried this beef broth base in my meatloaf. It is high in sodium, so I don't have to add any salt and it'll give me some flavor. That's what I, um, so I'm gonna try that. I just, I don't think it's gonna do anything. This. Creamy mushroom roasted garlic soup. Oops. That's my secret weapon right there. Besides that uh, Italian sausage. Make my meatloaf. Ah. I do it different ways. I got another meatloaf recipe. Up, up on, the, uh, on my channel. Put the base in there. Uh, I'm going to put in some. Breadcrumbs. I'm gonna put Italian style breadcrumbs. 
And that's to help hold it together as well. And I'm gonna put this Parmesan cheese. Kind of put a lot in there. Yeah. Uh, it's a our recipe now. You gotta jazz your, you gotta juice your meatloaf up. I don't like the way meat, cold meat, ground meat fill on my hands. That's why I have to have, I have to have some gloves. All right, it's a little wet, soggy. I guess I could put a little more bread crumbs in here. It's a little bit more moist than I want it to be. Just a little bit though. Put some more bread crumbs in there. <clears throat> Looks like I've used like a fourth or a third of the, I said a third of the uh, bread crumbs. That was a brand new. I keep forgetting I have two things of meat, two pounds. I wish I had an assistant in here to bring me a glove. Ha ha ha, I do not. Oh, maybe I'll take this over to my grandbabies. How? Because I just want a piece of meatloaf. And I'm like, I'm going to eat all this meatloaf. Okay. I'm just going to put this in this loaf pan. All this meat. It's getting a little gross. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to think what I'm going to top it with. I don't like the way it looks. I found out that if you don't grind your own ground pepper, it doesn't have the, it's not good for you. It doesn't have the human properties. I sprayed this loaf pan with a little pan and um, yep, I sprayed it with a little pan and put my uh, ground meat mixture. <clears throat> and I put my ground meat mixture in there. Oh, it's got meat everywhere. Uh, I'm putting a little paprika on top. Because when it browns, I don't know, I want it to look like something on top. I think that'll do it. I think that would do it. I thought about putting some parsley. That's the first thing I see right here. Uh, let's see. Let's see what that'll brown and look like. All right. Okay, so the meatloaf is all done and ready to go into the oven. I'm a little concerned because it's really moist. Ugh. Okay, so 50 minutes later, this is the meatloaf. Okay, 50 minutes later, here's the meatloaf. 
Oh man, I guess if you really want it juicy. <laughs> All right, let me let me get a piece out and let's taste it. Okay, 50 minutes later, here's the meatloaf. I just cut it. It's still super hot. The whole kitchen was smoking because it was too juicy. Okay, so I'm gonna try it. I tried some new things, some different things with this meatloaf. I do like mine to be a little more st stiff. I guess you don't want it to be dry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Taste this. Those tastes like I put sodium in it. It tastes good, but it's just so hot. I don't like it crumbly. I need to put some more binding stuff in there to hold it together. It's good. Mm -hmm. It is good. It's hitting the meatloaf spot. I just wanted some meatloaf. But I need to figure out something fabulous to do with it put it on top of some mashed potatoes or something because it's breaking up but here's the meatloaf okay so honestly i did not like the texture of this um, meatloaf it needed a lot more crackers or bread or something in it so what i did is i turned it into a cheese dip <laughs> i put it with some cheese in a crock pot thank you now let's make it happen